Welcome to my channel. Look at this fun DIY project I have for you today. You don't need a lot of products to make this. Wait till you see. You're going to need Mod Podge. You're going to need a beautiful paper napkin like this one I got from Dippy's Designs. You're going to need some of these little glass candle holders. I got them at the Dollar Tree. Four for a dollar. And the star of the show is this beautiful mulberry paper. Look at that with all the little filaments running through. It looks so gorgeous on the glass. This isn't hard to do. If these are the kind of projects you like, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. Hit the bell for future notifications. Give us a thumbs up, drop a comment, and share. Welcome to my crafting table. I want to give you another look at the mulberry paper. Look how beautiful that is with all the little threads running through it. It really looks amazing on glass. This is the napkin I'm going to be using along with the little birdie napkin. I'm going to use Mod Podge on both the mulberry paper and on the napkin to adhere it to the glass. Now, mulberry paper is thicker than a napkin. It's handled a little bit different, but it's not hard to do at all. And of course, I'm going to take you step by step. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to be making three of the candle holders, and I actually got these at the Dollar Tree, and they come four in a pack, 25 cents each. Wow, that's such a great deal. All right, the first thing we're going to do is clean them up, and we're going to use alcohol. Now, when I say clean it up, I mean you want to get rid of all of the smudges, any grease, oil. You want the glass to be squeaky clean. Anytime you're using metal or plastic or smooth surfaces, it's always best to start with a nice squeaky clean um, surface and alcohol does that the best. Okay, let's let them dry. Now we're on to the mulberry paper. We're not going to be putting the mulberry paper like that. Instead, we're going to be tearing it just like I'm doing here. And you're going to do different shapes and different sizes. And you're going to see how nice this looks on the glass once we start to put it down with the Mod Podge. Now, in addition to these bigger pieces, you're going to need some little small pieces as well as fill-ins. All right, so we have our two piles of mulberry paper, the big ones and the little ones, and we're ready to put the mulberry paper onto the glass. Now I'm dipping my brush in water. I'm blotting a lot of the water off, and now I'm going to put the glue onto the glass just like that. I'm gonna pick up a piece of mulberry paper. I'm gonna hold it with my thumb, and I'm going to start to press down the paper with the brush like that. So if you're wondering why I'm using water, well, the thing is that mulberry paper is thicker than a napkin. And I found with using the water, I was able to saturate the piece of mulberry paper and it just was more flexible and easier to work with than um, if I had not. It's just, it's much stiffer to not use the water. All right, so as you can see, I have a little space there, and this is kind of the idea with mulberry paper. See, I fit a piece in there. Um, it's kind of like a puzzle. Now, it's not real important that the, each piece fits in like that. You can do some overlapping. That's kind of the nice thing about mulberry paper is because of all those little filaments, you really don't even notice things like that. The only thing that I notice is you get some spots that are a little bit more opaque um, than other spots where you don't do as much overlapping. So you can see I'm kind of just finding pieces that fit in like that. Now, as I go along, I don't know if you can notice it, there are some spaces in there, there's two right there, that are going to need to have smaller pieces put in. See, just like that, that's why we cut up some of those smaller ones, and you know what? They're all ready to go, so I just have to add a little glue and press them down. Here's another space. And it's the same thing. You don't have to have big pieces. You can use a couple little smaller pieces. And, you know, the mulberry paper is kind of fuzzy and it does stick to itself. So uh, make sure you have enough glue. Okay, so let's take a look all the way around and see if there's any more spaces. There's one right there. Now, with a bigger thing, um, a bigger 
mulberry paper project, you may actually see those little openings. Um, it's not quite as opaque, but it's okay. With this one, I'm just being really picky. All right, let's take a look all the way around. All right, now on to doing the bottom. I want to do the bottom too, and it's the same thing. We're just going to take a little bit of water and dip it into the Mod Podge, and then we're just going to smooth it around the bottom. Any of those little pieces that were hanging over there, I'm just going to bend them over, and that's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to go all the way around the edge like that. Now I can start taking some of the smaller pieces and just do little fills until I have the whole bottom of the votive holder covered with the mulberry paper. And then you can see now that the mulberry paper is going all the way around. I did two more of the candle holders the same way as I did the first one, and they're nice and dry. So I'm going around and I'm taking a look, and sometimes little pieces of the mulberry paper might be sticking up if it didn't get wet enough, and there might be little fuzzies. So I'm just going around with my brush with a little bit of glue and just smoothing everything down just as I'm doing here. Now, my hands get full of glue working with mulberry paper. I like to have little handy wipes um, right there on my table with me. All right, so now we're gonna look at the edge. That top rim has extra mulberry paper on it, and I went to use a file like this, but I found that paper was just too thick to use a file. So instead, I got a little pair of scissors, and I went all the way around the rim, just like I'm doing here, and I removed that excess mulberry paper, and it definitely was easier to take that mulberry paper off, at least the big pieces with the scissor. But you know what? I was able to go in with the nail file and just do a little bit more cleaning up so the edge was nice and smooth. Now on to picking out a napkin and all of these are really, really pretty. We want something that's going to look really nice on top of that mulberry paper. So the butterflies are cute. The blue floral, love the lemon. That would look so good. The roses would look nice. But ultimately, I decided on using some Christmas prints. Now, when we decoupage, we only use the top ply, the printed ply of the napkin. And I already removed the back plies, as you can see there. I'm going to open up my napkin, which um, as you can see the holes, I've already used some of it. Now, to remove the little birdie, I am not going to be using a scissor. I'm going to be using water. I'm going to trace around the little image with the water and I'm going to pull that little piece away from the rest of the napkin. And the water weakens the napkin and makes it possible to do this. And now we get what's called a nice softened edge. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see. All right, I've got three little pieces of napkin and I'm ready to put them onto the candle holder. Now, I want you to be mindful of where you're placing the napkin. I don't want that birdie's head too close to the top because then we're not going to be able to see it. I've got Mod Podge in my little dish and now I'm ready to put it onto the candle holder. And what I'm doing is I'm putting the glue right on top of the mulberry paper and it's all dry. The thing about mulberry paper is it's much stronger than a napkin is. You don't have to worry about it getting wet with Mod Podge again. It's not going to tear, it's not going to wrinkle, it's just gonna lie there nice and flat and we like that. So I'm going to use my brush with the glue and I am going to smooth down the napkin as best as I can. I'm not going to use Saran Wrap, but I want it to be smooth. Okay, now we're gonna trim up the bottom and I'm just gonna do a little tear like that. And I'm gonna go in with some glue and I'm gonna put it underneath and I'm just going to tuck it down and it's fine and it's going to look nice and neat like that. All right, all the way around. Let's take a look. There you go. Okay, let's give that some time to dry. Now, I told you I had picked out two different Christmas prints, and I'm going to remove this design the same way as I did with the little birdie. I'm tracing around with a brush dipped in water. The water weakens the napkin, and I'm able to tear the little piece that I want off, and what I'm left with is this beautiful, soft, deckled edge. That's going to blend in so beautifully on top of the mulberry paper. Now, I went ahead and I did two. I'm rolling the Mod Podge instead of shaking so I don't get a lot of air bubbles. And I'm going to put some more into my uh, little dish there. I want to make sure that I have enough. All right, so we're going to make sure that the napkin is going to be able to lie on top of that and the placement is going to be good and that looks good to me. 
and I'm going to put the glue again right on top of the mulberry paper. I just want to remind you that mulberry paper is strong. You don't have to worry about it. Once it gets wet with the Mod Podge, it's not going to rip. It's not going to tear. It's not going to wrinkle. It's a wonderful thing to work with. I love mulberry paper. All right, so we're going to flip up that piece of napkin, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side, and we're just going to smooth it down like that. Make sure there's no glue under there and make sure that napkin is well adhered. Now let's go ahead and put the second one on and two really fit well on this. I was very happy that I picked this particular napkin and we're going to do the Mod Podge again right on top of the mulberry paper. I'm smoothing it down like that and we're going to go ahead and do that with the other side as well. Okay, smooth it. Napkin's nice and flat really pretty i really love these christmas prints okay let's give that a little time to dry okay now it's time to add a little sparkle but the first thing i want to do is i'm just going to check the top rims again i see there's still little pieces up there and i just want to take them off make sure they're nice and clean all right Let's put that Mod Podge on. I'm using Mod Podge Extreme Glitter. I love it. It's really nice, very sparkly. I'm going to hold it up. I'm not sure you're really going to be able to see it. No, but you'll see it once it's dry. All right, I'm going to dip my brush into the Mod Podge Extreme Glitter. That's what it's called. And I am putting, as you can see, a very generous amount right on top of the napkin. And just so you know, I forgot to tell you that, yes, the napkin is now dry on top of the mulberry paper, which is also dry. Just don't want to forget to tell you, you want to make sure everything is dry before you go on to the next step. Now, I'm using cups, so these have a place to stand and dry, um, but the only thing is you want to make sure the cups are upside down, too. Okay, just like that, it's going to dry. And I'm going to put some on the bottom as well, right? Can you ever have enough sparkle? I don't think so. This time I'm going to turn the cup upside down so I'm ready. And again, I'm going to put another generous amount of the Mod Podge Extreme Glitter all over it. And I know it looks very white, but the white's going to go away and it's going to dry clear. And what you're going to have is just the glitter on top of the birds and the mulberry paper. So go all the way around. Don't forget to put them on your cup like that so it can dry. And we're going to put a little bit on the bottom as well. Okay, then we let it dry and look at that sparkle. That is so beautiful. And once you put the light in, it's so nice. For a finishing touch, I decided to put some gold around the rim of the candle holders. I'm using a product called Rub and & Buff, and it comes in different colors, and I am using the gold. Rub & Buff is permanent. You don't want to get it on your skin because it's really hard to get off. So I'm just putting a little bit. It's a paste on a paper towel, and I'm going around the rim of the glass and once it dries, it's permanent and it's not hard to work with. You can even use this on some of your glass dishes too that we decoupage. All right, let's let that dry. The gold is all dry and now I want to put something on that's going to protect the glass and I'm going to be using a product called Dora Clear and I have my little cup there. Dora Clear is a thin varnish as you can see when I put it on there. See it's nice and thin. It comes in several different finishes like matte which has no shine, satin which has just a little gleam but I'm going for the glossy because I thought oh with that glitter they're really going to be sparkly. The thing I like about Dora Clear as well is that it's very easy to clean up and it's very low odor. Um, I don't have to take this outside. I can do it in the house, um, which is, you know, that's why it's one of my go-tos. And I especially love it on top of glass. So just going to spread it on just like I'm doing here. Again, it is kind of thin, so you just want to make sure you get all the drips. So now that all three are done, that's exactly what I'm going to do, is just go in there and make sure that any little drips are taken care of. And when this is dry, you can go ahead and put a second coat on as well, and you're going to let that coat dry too. Okay, my candle holders are all dry. Look at that with the gloss on top of the sparkle. It is just so glimmery. And look at the mulberry paper underneath the napkin. It is so elegant. But you know what? Let's go back to the studio and see how they look with the lights inside. 
I've dimmed the lights and I put some flameless candles inside my little candle holders. Look how pretty they are with the mulberry paper and the little birdies and the glitter, the gold rim, absolutely beautiful and elegant. And this is something you can do. Mulberry paper is not difficult to work with. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will subscribe to my YouTube channel and see more videos like this that you will share, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up and visit me on my Facebook page.